everybody, Coach Matt again. Got another drill or a couple of drills for us to work on. Uh, these are some drills that you can uh, do inside if your parents are cool. Um, and all you need is a uh, glove and, and maybe a tennis ball. We're going to be doing a drill for infielders and a drill for outfielders, right? So the first drill that we're going to do is an infield drill, and it's just it's uh, it's short hops, right? And what we want to focus on here is that we have proper fielding technique. Come over this way, because we want to get a good view of Luke. All right, so proper fielding technique for the infielder. Luke's got a good start. His glove foot is a little bit in front. Um, his throwing hand or throwing foot is a little bit behind. This is what we call heel-toe relationship. Uh, this is the the you know the go-to fielding um, position for any infielder. It gives you good balanced stance. It allows you to feel the ball off your inside foot, your glove hand. It allows for if a mistake is made, um, for that ball to come up and, and hit you in the chest. So um, it's a forgiving stance. It's it's the stance that all young infielders should learn. Um, so. That's, that's our base stance. So Luke's gonna drop down in the fielding position. We're gonna just do short hops. It's real easy. All I do is I pick a spot kind of close in front of his glove, and I'm gonna bounce the ball, and I'm gonna get Luke to, um, you want your glove out in front of you, you get Luke to used to fielding the ball on the hop and getting that free hand on top of it, right? Make sure you get that ball on the hand. Yeah, that hand on that ball. There you go. And bring the glove up into you, right? Oh, a little bit of mistake. That's okay. Yeah, because what you're doing now, start with that glove low. You start with that glove low. Oh, see, but he kept it in front of him. Right? Get that glove low. There you go. So what this does is it's a, a very easy way for a young ball player to get as many repetitions as possible uh, with fielding the ball. Like you saw, like I had Luke do, I wanted his glove all the way down, okay? Because what you want to remember is when you're fielding ground balls, it's always easier to come up on a ball that hops than it is to have your glove up here and have to go down. That's where you get those balls that kind of shoot through your wickets. So you want to start in the good fielding position, start with your glove low, and as you field the hop, you want to bring it up into your body like Luke was doing, because that's where you transition into your control step and ultimately your throw. All right, so the next drill, we talked yesterday about fielding from the outfield position on a, on a kind of a bumpy surface where you, where you run up and you break down and you feel the ball similar to what an, an infielder would do. If you're on a smooth surface, you can do things a little bit different. On a smoother surface, if you have runners on base, right? This is a situation where the ball has hit you as an outfielder, there's a runner on base, trying to advance to an extra base. You want to make a play on the ball and make a good throw. So you've got a smooth roll. You're coming here off the outside of your glove and the foot and fielding it on the outside, still running and making your throw, right? So you're running, 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 field the ball smoothly, come up and throw. And this is what you've really got to use or you can use when you're playing on a a well-trimmed field that doesn't have too many bumps. You got a ball that's rolling smoothly. You can anticipate that it's gonna just stay on the ground and roll smoothly, and you can just pick it up. So here, what we're gonna do is simply just roll the ball. Luke's gonna run forward, field it on the outside of his glove hand or glove foot, and um, go into a crow hop. Make sure that that free hand gets on top of the ball. All right, one more time. Ah, uh, 
There you go. You saw that Luke had a little bit of a bobble, but because he was in a good fielding position, he was able to, and had that free hand close to it, he was able to regain control and continue through his throw off, or his curl off. So there you go. An outfield drill, an infield drill, real easy to do, a glove, a tennis ball. You can do this outside if you want, uh, but it's really something that you can do inside uh, in order to maximize the amount of repetition that you get just fielding a ball coming at you. Uh, I'm a big advocate of repetition builds muscle memory, muscle memory builds success. All right, just another quick variation. If you have uh, on the short hops, again, if your parents are cool and you got a harder surface inside the house, you can bounce it off the wall, right? Bounce just like that. You don't need a, a, a friend, a sibling, a parent to toss them to you. You can just toss them to yourself. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I think that's the end of the fielding videos that I'm going to do for y'all. Uh, we might move on to hitting, uh, and um, we'll see if I can show you some of the basics of again what we talked about in our only practice this year. Uh, hitting outside pitches, inside pitches, and pitches up the middle, right? You want to think about where that pitch location is and adjust to that. But we'll talk about that in another video. Thanks, and we'll see y'all soon.